course of the church year, there are various days which are set aside to honor, commemorate, whatever you want to call it, the saints of God, male and female. And I was noticing the other day as I was doing my personal devotions that one of those days appeared where it was to commemorate Sarah, the wife of Abraham. We talk so much about Abraham, the great patriarch, but she was quite a matriarch too. She controlled the family. She is also listed in Hebrews chapter 11 as being one who by faith was used by God in a very special way. But let's look at Sarah's life. Married to her half-brother, <coughs> Abraham. Obviously, they went to a family reunion or something. Or, and here you've got them marrying, being very happy. She was noted to be a very beautiful woman, but she could not conceive and bear a child. And so she said to Abraham one day in kind of a fit of passion, if that is the right word to use for this, sleep with my servant girl Hagar and let her conceive and bear a son for you and I'll raise it as my own. Well, he did, she did, but Sarah didn't. In fact, she wanted Hagar and Ishmael, her son, kicked out of the family completely. Abraham did it reluctantly. But then God continued to use Sarah in spite of this sinfulness and used her for a great purpose. He even promised that she in her old age would conceive and bear a child for Abraham. And she did. 90 years old. Can you imagine? 103 and you've got a teenager in the house. Think about that one. And yet, by faith, she honored what God had promised, and it was fulfilled for her. And she was used as basically the mother of Israel, as Abraham is referred to as the father of Israel. That son, of course, was Isaac, and the many blessings continued to flow. But back to Sarah. God used her in spite of her. How about you? Does God continue to use you, or do you question about how God is going to use you, or if he even can use you? My friends, God can use a sinner like Sarah. He can use a sinner like me, and he can use a sinner like you as well. He uses us in spite of us sometimes. No matter how often we fight against him, no, how, no matter how often we might doubt how he's going to use us, he has amazing things in store for us as he continues to fulfill his plan through us. After all, by grace we are his chosen children. Christ Jesus has made us children of God. That's what we're called. And when God calls us that, he's going to use us. Whether we're for it, against it, or in spite of it, he's going to use us to be his blessing and to accomplish his blessing. You are his child. Rejoice in that, and with expectation, look forward to the many ways in which God is going to excite your life in Christ. Have a wonderful, blessed day, child of God.